Moving on, moving on to the NFC West. We have the Cardinals, Seahawks, 49ers, and LA Rams. I think, honestly, this is a um, no brainer. Yeah. Uh, best in the division, 49ers. Um, obviously, the clock is ticking for that team. I think they're the best team in the NFL. They've been the best team in the NFL in regards to just being on paper. Obviously, we know who the Super Bowl champions are, but just on paper, on they've paper, been yeah. one of the best teams in football. So can they crack through? It's Super Bowl a bust for them. It's not about getting to the NFC title game. It's not about winning an MVP for Brock Purdy. It's not about – they need to get back to the Super Bowl, and they need to win that Super Bowl because there's going to be – a contract issue coming up with yep. this team very, very soon. There's a lot of guys on this team that are making 20 plus million dollars a year. That at some point, that bubble is going to burst and they're going to have to break this shit up and they're going to have to retool again. So their window is two years. They got two years to get this shit done. If they can be able to get it done within the next two years, then they, they'll feel more comfortable dismantling it and starting from scratch. Right. Um, Surprise team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a toughie. That's a tough one. I'm going to say Rams. I say the Rams because here's why they're surprised. I don't think a lot of people expected much out of the Rams last year. And they showed you that, yeah, we got some talent here. Puka Nakua, we got Cooper Cup coming back. Kyra we Williams. Got, yeah, Kyra Williams. We have a lot of things that you didn't realize we got. And Stafford was hurt the whole right. year. Stafford he got hurt, hurt the early. Whole year. Right. So now Stafford, he's going to be healthy again. You know, they still got Sean McVay. I think they're going to be like, surprise, motherfuckers, we still here. That's the type of surprise that they coming with. That we're still here. We're, we're a couple of seasons removed from winning the Super Bowl. We ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? So I think that they're going to be the surprise. And stock down is definitely going to be the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. Seattle Seahawks are the stock down for me because it's just, listen, as good as Geno Smith has been, there's going to be a regress to the mean, right? There's going to be, he's going to be a lot more inconsistent than we've seen because if the if the pieces are not there, we don't know what the coaching staff is going to look like. I, I don't really... I don't know what they're going to bring. I have no idea. So we have to see exactly what that is. But I think that that's a stock down. I think that they're going to have to be, they're going to make some, they're going to have to make some changes very soon within the next few seasons. Try to see who their guys are, get younger, turn it over and, you know, kind of assess what they have. So yeah, I definitely say, uh, think stock down for the Seattle Seahawks. I'm actually going to be pretty close with you. I think uh, the best team in the division, hands down, 49ers. Right. It's like not even discussion. They're one of the best teams in football. Offensive pieces all over the place. Defensive pieces all over the place. Right. I want I want them to win for Fred War- for Fred Warner more more than anyone Facts. and Trent Williams. To be honest with you, right. who I think could have been the MVP last year, but the guys in the offensive lineman and they're gonna, never going to give it to him. But with the fact is, you're paying. Debo, you're paying Christian. Now we're paying Ayuk. Trent Williams isn't even getting a piece of the pie. Fred Taylor's not getting the money he should be getting. And then you're going to have Brock Purdy come up. Right. And you see how those quarterback contracts exactly. go. So like you said, uh, they got a two-year window. It's Super Bowl or bus. Yep. Winning the Super Bowl or bus. Not even Super no, Bowl No, or it's bus. winning. They got to win the Super Bowl right. to justify this. They've been this. there a couple of times already. They got to cash in now. They got to cash in. So they're going to be the best team. A surprise team. I don't feel like the Rams are a surprise. So I'm actually going to go with the Cardinals. Okay. I think Kyler Murray had some time to sit down after getting injured last year. I think he remembers the criticism going into the year with his contract and everything he had to do with it. But you're the first QB to get a video game clause. Like you're not, you're, you're playing too much video games. You're not studying enough. Uh, I think he plays way too much off script. I think he's been too good for too long going from high school to college. Now he's in the NFL with this big head. And I think like uh, it happened to Baker, he had to be humbled. And I think last year that injury might have done it for him. I want to see him with Marvin Harris Jr., a receiver who's phenomenal, but you got to be on time for so I think they can actually be a surprise, not necessarily by record, but That's I think the maturity the, of yeah. Kyler 
if he if he matures, I think that could be the surprise. Just just being an exciting team and a team that people want to watch because they have been a team that nobody wants to watch. Exactly. The last few seasons. Yeah. That's that's so why like I'm that. going to go with them with my surprise. I like the Rams. I don't hate the Seahawks, but I'm just going to go with my Seahawks for stock down, and not for any other reason. They're steady, Eddie. Yeah. They're going to win a certain amount of number of games. Very, very vanilla. They might even win a playoff game. Yeah. But do you think they're going to go all the way? No. Do you believe it? Because I don't believe it. No. So that's the only reason I'm going stock down with them. I don't think they've really taken a step forward, and they don't really have the belief that they could win it all. I think much like the Saints, they can win some games that they shouldn't win, but I don't think they're going to lose the games that they shouldn't lose. So they might end up with a good record, but... How really? How, how how deep do you believe in them? Right, I agree. I agree. I I think all of those picks are spot on. Good job with that. <laughs>